Hello everyone and welcome to the collection unboxing series part 6. As always, if you want to check out the previous parts of this series or the video that explains how I got this collection, I will have the links to the playlist of those in the description down below. Not exactly sure what we're going to be opening in this video, but we are not doing one of the big boxes. We do still have the two more of those really, really big boxes to go through. But this is going to be a shorter part in this series. We're going to go through this medium box right here. And then we may also go through another medium box or maybe one or two small boxes. I'm not really sure. We'll just kind of see how it goes. So let's begin. Right on top here, there's a bunch more of these little mystery stable mates. The last part in this video, I unboxed a bunch of these. Obviously, we have a bunch more to unbox. I will not be opening these in this video, though. I'll be doing like I did before, and I will be saving them for their own separate stablemate unwrapping unboxing video. So I'm going to just collect all these up and put them in another box for now. All right, I am seeing some more mystery stable mates down in the corner over there, but we'll just go ahead and start looking at these models on top first, though. Right on top here, you can see that there is a package for the Briar Companion animals. Let's flip it over and see what we have. It is an Irish setter. This one is very cute. Its package is kind of dirty, unfortunately, but I should be able to clean it up okay. And I think I actually might keep this one in the package because I do have one of these guys out of the package, I believe. I do like the Briar Companion animals a lot. I think they're so cool. And I hope Briar will bring them back someday. Let's go ahead and do this one since you can kind of get a peek already at what's going on here. This is a Peter Stone, actually. I think this is the Trotting Arabian Weanling or something like that. Honestly, I'm sorry. I don't know Peter Stones as well as I do Briars. But she is meant to be like a younger horse. She's probably like around one year old or something like that. And she's this really cute little Pinto Arabian. Look at those cute markings on her face. How sweet. I love the coloring on her. It is gorgeous. I don't see any special markings on her saying that she was like a limited edition of some sort or design a horse, but I'll have to look her up later on and see what she is. This is a really interesting spot marking going on there. Yeah, she is really pretty and cute. Gorgeous little model. And I'm really curious what's in this plastic bag, so let's go ahead and open that up. Oh, we actually have here, it looks like Lonesome Glory, the original Lonesome Glory. He's even got a bit of a twist tie still around his leg. Ooh, how cool is that? Briar did end up reissuing this uh, particular model for Briarfest 2018 as a store special. But this one is the original Lonesome Glory. Let's see who this is. It is a Peter Stone. Very fun Peter Stone pony. It is a pretty Appaloosa with the really cool kind of like custom mane and tail going on there. This tail actually looks like it might have originally came off the Arabian model or something. I don't know, but it is a very interesting custom tail. Love that long, pretty mane. And the Appaloosa spots actually have some really cool mapping on them. Uh, again, I don't see any specific markings or anything indicating if uh, this was anything specific. If so, I'll have to look this one up later. He is very cute, though. His face is quite adorable. And he is a little dirty, but that's okay. We can clean him up and make him look as good as new again. It looks like Uncalled For, who I do have already, but mine, I think, is a little beat up. So I'll have to compare this one with my own and see which one I like the most. But look at this beautiful shiny girl. Oh, this one is in really nice condition. Oh, she is so gorgeous, though. I love that color on her. I love that really stark white mane and tail. I think it is just so pretty. I'm not super huge into this mold. I do really like certain colors on it, and this is one of them. I think it's just such a pretty color. That gloss really makes it pop. Now this guy's been hanging out here a while, so let's go ahead and uh, take him out here. His feather is actually kind of like, oh my gosh, as you can maybe see it floating around. It's uh, disintegrating everywhere, so I might have to like chop that off or something so it doesn't 
keep getting feather, feathery dust stuff everywhere. Unfortunately, this handsome guy does not have a very good uh, feather going on. But he does have the rest of his costume. He is one of the holiday horses. And I do not actually have this guy. I've been kind of meaning to get him for a long time and just never did for some reason. I really like all of the little accoutrements on him. And his thing says uh, Season's Greeting 2005 on his belly. And his color is really pretty. It has like a blue shine to it too, as you can maybe see in the camera there. That looks really cool. Oh, he is so lovely and handsome. I really like this guy. I am seeing more stable mates, so I'll go ahead and put those away with the other stable mates. This is one of the boxes I realized that has a lot of really, really fun stuff here. Here I see a secession, and I do not remember which one this one's called, but she is a pretty Palomino mare. And she is one of the earlier releases, as you can kind of tell by her paint job, so she is a bit of an older one. She is very cute though, I love her sweet face. She's got some nice shading and markings going on. She is very nice, very lovely Palomino girl. And her baby should be around in one of these boxes somewhere. I'm seeing down here, it looks like Peter Stones, and then I don't know what this guy is, so let's see what he is. Oh, this is actually a she. And I do know who this is. This is from the Briar uh, Picture Perfect set that uh, came with a camera and like little props and stuff for photo showing sort of. It was really cool. Like an introduction to photo showing. And there was also a Zippo Pine Bar version of the same sort of thing. I do actually already have this pretty girl, but mine got ruined. She unfortunately got big ugly purple stains all over her. It's very, very hard to fix, unfortunately, when a model gets stains on it. It really hasn't been a, a safe way to do it that doesn't involve bleach. So this girl will probably replace the one in my collection that did get ruined, unfortunately. But she is so pretty. I love her big, beautiful spots. She's got a very cute face with the pink nose. All right, this does look like quite a few Peter Stones here. It might actually all be Peter Stones left. Oh wait, hold on, first up. I found the baby. Here's the baby La Fire that goes with uh, Secession. There he is! I knew he must be around in one of these boxes somewhere. How cute is he? Just an adorable little Palomino foal. He is very sweet and I'm glad he has uh, been safe with his mama this whole time. Now on to whatever goodies are sitting here. Ooh, this is a nice black Peterstone Arabian. He is quite lovely, just kind of a solid flat black, but very, very cool looking guy. He does have some white socks on his feet. He actually does have a little bit of warped legs, it looks like, but that's easy enough to fix. He does have a nice little star on his forehead and some very nice detailed eyes and a little bit of detailing in his uh, nostrils as well. He is quite dusty, so he needs maybe a little little bath, but otherwise he is very nice and very cool. Next here is a, another Peter Stone. This looks like one of their Christmas ones they do. This one's like a, the North Star. Actually, I think it has the tag that says it here. It sure does. So there we go, his tag with all his little information there, so we don't even have to look him up. He is really cool, though. He's got kind of a nice black but it's got some blue mixed in. I do like the little north star on his neck that's really cute. And then this marking here I'm trying to make out but it looks like possibly the three wise men. And then his other side does not have anything it's just this nice pretty black and blue situation with those long nice white stockings. Just love what that blue does to his color it looks so nice. And this appears to be a, another Peter Stone Arabian here. This is another decorator as well. This guy has got gold, lots of gold going on. He's kind of a 4th of July one actually, because he's got little flea bites that are red and blue. He's got the big white stars. Let's see, he also has a tag. This one is limited to 500, and he's actually an Ecolocity SR. Very cool. When I love his fun, really bright blue eyes. Those are really cool. On his other side, he doesn't have quite as many stars. He's kind of more of this gold color. He's also glossy, by the way. I don't know how well that shows up on camera, but he does have 
a nice light coat of gloss on him. Super cool guy. Oh, these ishes are just falling over. Ooh, this is a fun one. He must be an older one based on how his coloring is done. They don't really do the uh, kind of sort of splattery dapple thing like Briar does, but it's a little different. They don't really do this effect on their newer models so much. But he's got kind of a neat resist dappling looking effect going on, but he actually might be kind of more of a roan. That might be kind of the effect they are going for on him. He is very pretty though. I really like his color. He has like one really big little spot on his cheek there. Very neat coloring. Down here we have another ish. Ooh, I think I have one that's kind of similar to this one. I'm not sure if it's the exact same one. I believe I do have a Palomino ish, but his markings might be different. I will have to check. I do Conga the uh, Peter Stone uh, Ideal Stock Horse or ish mold. So I'll have to see which ones I'm going to end up keeping or not, or if I'll just end up keeping all of them possibly. This guy does have some marks on him. Those may be able to come clean, they may not. We'll see. But he is a very nice Palomino. I like his little dapples actually going on. He's got some dappling on his shoulder and his flank. This side of him is really pretty. Very handsome guy. And down here is one more Peter Stone. And it's another decorator, as you can probably already tell. This is another one on the pony mold. But this one is one of their really cool kind of drip marbly looking horses. I don't know what they call them exactly, but they're kind of like a drip paint effect. And this one is very pretty with a nice coat of gloss, fun shades of blue and white and gray. Very cool looking model. So there is the last model for this box, but there are some other things in there to look at. So I ended up keeping some boxes, at least for now. A bunch of old Briar boxes. The actual models may or may not be in this uh, collection. An old 70s style Briar box, or at least uh, half of it. And there's also Adios, who unfortunately has seen better days. But it's still kind of cool to see these old boxes. I just really like to get a look at how they used to look. Uh, this is the bottom to one of them. Oh, and here we actually have some of the uh, boxes for the... Trail of Painted Ponies wolf items. I don't know if I'll actually end up keeping these uh, boxes for them or not, but those are there. There's another bottom of a box. And then this is just another one. It's got the bottom of the box plus the old picture there of uh, Midnight Sun. So these are kind of cool. I don't know if I'll be keeping all of them necessarily or not. So that does clear out this box. So let's move on to maybe just one more box it is starting to get a little dark, so I don't want this video to go on too long. All right, let's go through one of these small boxes, and they don't actually have too much in the way of models, but they have a lot of other fun Briar stuff in it, so they're still quite fun to go through. But for some of these boxes, I just kind of threw stuff in. I didn't really look at it too much, so now we'll actually get to look at it. First up here, here is actually some of the stuff that came with the Picture Perfect uh, Shire Mare I just showed you guys. These are the fun things that come with it. There's like a nice backdrop, a nice little fencing, and a little flower picture frame there. And it also has a briar catalog in there as well. I'm seeing mini winnies. I love mini winnies. I actually started collecting mini winnies before I started collecting regular briars. These ones are still brand new and packaged, never open, and they really take me back. Target actually used to carry these. They used to love buying these packs of mini winnies. They're so fun. And this one, this is six gated horses. And then this one is six Mustangs. And I'm sorry for the glare. You can't really see it too well. I may end up just keeping these guys, honestly, in their packages. I do think I already have both of these sets, possibly. I'm not 100% sure. I'll have to check my mini winnies. But for nostalgia's sake, I might actually keep these guys in their little packages like this. There's also a, another one here. This one is six draft horses. And again, has never been opened and has six little fun draft models in there. I'm not sure if I have this set or not. It's like I recognize a couple of them. But I might actually not have this one because I don't recognize this draft or the blue roan there. 
So it's possible I don't have this one because I did reuse a lot of the same colors on these models even though like they reissued them into different sets and then later on is the little mini Winnie blind bags. So it is possible that I don't have this uh, particular set. I'm not sure. We have some old Briar catalogs here. I actually have to go through all my old Briar catalogs and uh, figure out what I'm going to do with the duplicates because I have so many of them. But here's one from 2008. There is actually a My Dream Horse paint and mohair activity kit uh, guide. We actually already looked at those in one of the videos. <laughs> I think maybe part two of this series. I had showed some of the craft horses. So this is one of the little booklets that goes with the craft horses. One of the Briar Spirit catalogs from 2002. These are honestly my favorite just because it has spirit on the cover. And just has a lot of really fun models in this era. Lots of fun pictures. Like look at all the wild animal series animals. And all the farmland animals. And the dogs. What's really funny is I remember when I was a kid. I did actually have a couple Briar catalogs like this. Might have even been like this same one or very close to this era. But what I actually was really excited about was not necessarily the horses but the dogs. I really really wanted the dogs and I really wanted that dog agility set. Of course here is also the section on spirit. I am missing some of these items still in my own collection. I need to track them down and get them. It would be fun to be able to complete my collection with at least all the things on this page here. But very cool. I love looking through the older Briar catalogs. Alright we have another uh, thing here. Another one of these dream horse uh, kits information sheet that comes with those kits and talks about customizing and colors and horse markings all of those fun things on top here what do we have but an adorable little halter this looks like a stable mate sized halter it's even got a really tiny little lead rope if you guys can see that it is so cute I might actually throw this in with the mystery stablemate box and put it on a stablemate after we unbox one so we can see how cute it is on a little stablemate. Here I see, oh unfortunately it has got like rust or something going on with it. I don't know if I can clean that up, but this is for a model we actually already unboxed in part 4 I believe of this series. This is the Phoenix Rising base, unfortunately it does look like it's kind of got some issues i don't know what exactly but it's like discolored but the actual wood part of this base looks really nice still though so this will have to go with the uh, phoenix rising oh my gosh and this is a lot of fun stuff right here i did not even look through this at all so this is going to be really cool to go ahead and open it up i guess and take a look at what's inside this is kind of cool jennifer wilson workshop instructor Jennifer Wilson is not the owner of this collection, so I wonder if Judy got this from her or something. Not sure, but that is really cool. This is also from Briarfest 2008, by the way. I'll zoom in so you can see there. This is also very cool. This is a Briarfest 2008 special run ticket. It was for Friday, July 18th, 2008. These look to be Briar uh, Connoisseur certificates, which... I don't want to spoil anything, but these two models might be in this collection. You'll have to wait and see later on in this video series. I also see a Namsha card here. Lazy Horse Live Stone Southern Style. I wonder which horse this is for. I don't know if this is one of Judy's own showing cards or if this is one she got with a model she bought or something. Because the owner name says Jingle Bell Rock, so I don't know if that is a name she used for showing or if it is someone else. Here is a another connoisseur certificate. Again, I don't want to spoil the surprises, but this model might be in this collection. You'll have to wait and see. Here is another certificate of authenticity, and this one is for Phoenix Rising. So again, this is something I will put with that model. Peter Stone stuff. There's a fun little Peter Stone 2001 catalog. That's super cool. I think I'm, I don't know if I do have one of these or not already. I might have a Peter Stone catalog, but I don't know if I have this one. How fun though. Look at all the fun Peter Stone models to look at. Oh, and I do have that guy, the uh, one ish right there, uh, Bingo. I do have him. 
here appears to be a tag that came with one of the models she bought, perhaps. So this is talking about uh, picking up models at the Jamboree. Good for one Briar Bellafleur model. Ticket number 222. That's another neat piece of Briar event history, but for the Jamboree, the Briar Jamboree events. Here we have a certificate of authenticity for Peter Stone, who I don't know if is in this collection or not, but this is for Baldy. Here we have more certificates. This is one of the Briar Fun Day models, certificate for him. I think he might be in this collection somewhere, I'm not sure. 2001 Gambler's Choice Offer. This is for the Naughty or Nice models. Again, I don't want to spoil surprises. This is like giving you guys a sneak peek of what's to come in this collection still. But there may be a Naughty or Nice model in this collection. And this is interesting. This looks like uh, photos, actually. Possibly photo show photos. Or just photos for fun. Here's a certificate of authenticity for Silverado who actually is not in this collection. I'm like 98% sure I did not see this model when I was packing up this collection. So I don't know where he is or if my friend might have possibly gotten him, I'm not sure. Or if he, I don't know what happened to him. So unfortunately I can tell you already you won't be seeing Silverado in this collection. Here I see another Peter Stone thing. This is for PAX, which I don't think this model is in here. Actually I think this is just like a little advertisement for the Stone Horses County Fair for 2008. Very cool. Here's another model I don't think is in this collection, but we have the Certificate of Authenticity for. Another connoisseur. Here's a little card for Eclipse, who I think is maybe in this collection. I'm actually not too sure if I saw him or not, but that is cool. He is a 1999 Fall Show Special. And here's another Certificate of Authenticity. This one is for Scallywag, who I don't have, but my friend has, so I will actually send this to her to make sure she gets that. Another one I do not think is in this collection, yet we have his Certificate of Authenticity. Reverse Polarity. So this is really interesting. I'm surprised that there are so many uh, COAs for connoisseur models, but quite a few of them are not in here, so it's very, very strange and interesting. Uh, these actually just look like the little uh, box cutouts. The Desperado. Very cool. I love that model. Here's another Briar Tour model. This one's from 2008. Not sure if this one is in the collection or not, but he might be. I can't, I can't really remember on him. Oh my gosh, yet another Certificate of Authenticity for a Connoisseur model. This is yet another one I'm pretty sure is not in this collection. I don't know what is the deal with all these... Uh, connoisseur certificates and the models not being there. Another certificate, this is for a, another gambler's choice offer for Naughty and Nice. Um, I'll go ahead and give a spoiler warning. I won't tell you which one, but there's only one of the Naughty or Nice. There's not both of them. So again, we have a certificate of authenticity and no horse to go with it. Special delivery, I actually have this guy in, I can't remember if he's in this collection or not, but we'll find out. That is his certificate. There's a Justin Morgan one. I'm going to go a little faster. My camera battery is really dying here. Uh, another one. Uh, this is for Cherokee, who we did actually see already. So that'll go with him. There's a little Stablemate card. And I'm not sure what is going on here. Oh, there's a Briar decal. How fun. I heart Briars with the semi-rearing Mustang. That is so cool. I love that. And we have something else here. Oh my gosh, do we seriously have another Certificate of Authenticity? We sure do, this time for Conquistador, who again is not in this collection, so I'm very surprised of what's going on here. So I'm almost wondering if maybe she sold these models and then didn't put their Certificate of Authenticities with them, maybe? Perhaps that is what happened? I really don't know, but she used to have a lot of them, apparently, a lot of the connoisseurs. There's another Briar uh, catalog, this one from 1999 with Huckleberry Bay on the front. All right, and that looks like that is everything that was in this little pouch here. A lot of fun and interesting stuff. And I'll quickly go through the rest of the stuff in here before my camera dies. We have Justin Morgan had a horse book. Uh, here's another certificate of authenticity. This one's for Del Fugo, who actually might be in this collection as well. You have to wait and see. Here's a DVD, which I don't know if this came with a Briar thing or not, but 
to check it out is Struck by Lightning. There is a King of the Wind book. There's the Island Stallion book. There is a San Domingo, the Medicine Hat Stallion book as well. We got more Briar catalogs. Again, my camera really is dying here, so I'm going to rush through the rest of this box. Bunch of Briar catalogs. There's one with silver on it. We got another spirit one, another silver one. Uh, one of the really long ones when they used to do the long catalogs. Certificate of Authenticity for Earth. There's a VHS for Dale Evans and Buttermilk. I'll have to watch that as well. There's a Connoisseur Horse bag here, which I don't think has anything in it. It does not seem to. These are not great, by the way. I don't recommend keeping your briars in them because the purple part here does stain the models. There's more books down here. Blackjack. Another Island Stallion. A little back thing for Red Rum. A little cutout for Magnifico. A little thing for Freedom. A little thing for Little Tahoma. Another catalog. Peter Stone catalog thing. We're just talking about Model Horse Congress, it looks like. That's cool. And we just have more little box cutouts. Bay Fighting Stallion actually cut out some of these, by the way, so they're not a surprise, but different horses and such. The Passport Briar thing that comes with him, a Passport to Collecting, talks about Model Horse Collecting and such. More catalogs. There's a PetSmart coupon. <laughs> Another certificate of authenticity for a model. I'm not sure which one that is. Actually, I think we already looked at that model recently in uh, part four, maybe. And this looks like just more Briar catalogs. I'll have to go through, like I said, the Briar catalogs better. More catalogs. And then I see more for the uh, picture perfect set thing, the camera, and the little uh, thing that went with it. Another thing that went with the per picture perfect thing. And the base for Earth, again, a little cutout for one of the models from their boxes. And that looks to be about it. I'm sorry, I'm like rushing at the end here. It's seriously, I'm trying to get this video wrapped up. All right, I know this was kind of a different video, not too many models, but still kind of a lot of fun stuff, I felt like. I really liked looking through all the different paper things and such, and there were some really nice models in this video, which makes up for, I think, for the fact that it wasn't a huge video compared to some of the other ones. For myself, I think if I had to choose a model of the ones that we unboxed today, of like which one's my favorite of the bunch, I might have to go with this Peter Stone Pony. I'm not crazy about the Peter Stone Ponies, but I really like the color on this one. I think it is so fun and pretty. If you want, let me know down in the comments below if there was a favorite model in this video that stuck out to you. And that is going to wrap up this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss a future collection unboxing video parts. Like I said, there's still a lot more left to go in this collection. You got some fun sneak peeks of what might to come with those Certificate of Authenticities. I hope you guys have an awesome day, and I will see you in the next video. Bye, everyone!